What is up guys, Steven Womack with another Instagram tutorial. This time today I want to be talking about Joan Pala. I really love his look myself. You guys requested him. It's that vintage real film camera look and I think he really uses film cameras. But today I want to show you how to get that film look with your mobile phone and the free Lightroom app. I came really close to it and that's what I want to show you today. Before we start, let me tell you that I've created preset packs for you guys that imitate exactly this film look. There's four filters, four presets that I made for you guys, really high quality black and white ones, and, but also that Kodak uh, Portra 400 look. Um, check it out on my website, the link is under this video. Also, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to this channel, hit the notifications bell so you don't miss out on any of my tutorials. And follow me on Instagram, my handle is at Stephen Womack. Also, I like to respond to questions that you might have. Just send me a DM on Instagram. I'm always happy to hear from you guys. As I said, my handle is at Stephen Womack. I think I've said enough now. Let's jump right into that Jean Paula inspired Instagram filter. Uh, what you need, of course, is the free Lightroom app. Link is also below this video. And to start off with, we open up the Lightroom app and choose the picture. I chose this picture because it comes really close to a picture that Jean Pala made. Um, and what we want to do first is hit the lights tab, go to the curves, and then I want you to copy exactly this curve as I have it right here. Boost up the shadows a little bit and pull down the highlights on the upper right a little bit and then try and get a slight S curve in between those two spots on the outside. So once you've copied this curve as it is, we're done here and we want to pull down the contrast a little bit. It's important to do only slight edits to this to get that real high quality film look. Um, we don't want to over exaggerate. Uh, the highlights, we also want to pull them down a little bit to about negative 12. The shadows, we want to pull down in this case, we want to pull them down a lot to negative 46 is perfect. The whites, we also want to pull them down to about negative 17. The blacks, we also want to pull them down to about negative 7 is perfect. And that's it for the light. We jump over to the colors tab and what we do here is pull down the temperature, in this case, a little bit to about negative five. And the tint, we wanna boost that to plus one. The vibrance, we wanna pull that up to about plus 27. And the saturation, we wanna pull that down slightly to about negative 10. Now we scroll up and hit the color mix for the reds. We want to boost the hue a little bit to about plus 17. The saturation, we want to boost that as well to about plus 29. And we'll leave the luminance as it is. Jump over to the oranges. The hue, we want to boost that to about plus 5. The saturation, we want to pull that down to about negative 8 and the luminance we want to boost to about plus 15. So it's all really subtle and that's what we're going for. The yellows, we want to pull down the hue into the orange area to about negative 20 in this case and boost the saturation to about plus 11 and pull down the luminance, make it dark to about negative 30 is perfect. Now we jump over to the greens. What we want to do here, pull the hue down to negative 24 and the saturation all the way down to negative 100. Aquatones, only saturation all the way down to 100. Jump over to the blues and here we want to boost the hue to about plus 30, 36 and the saturation we want to pull down to about negative 21 and leave the luminance as it is jump over to the purples pull down the saturation all the way to negative 100 
jump over to the pinks, also saturation all the way down to negative 100. And then we're done here. So we jump over to the effects panel and pull down the texture just a little bit to about negative four. And the clarity, we wanna boost that up to about plus 18. Dehaze to about negative five. And also add some grain to make it look vintage, but just a little bit around, around 19, 20 is perfect. And um, then we're done with the effect. So we scroll up and hit the split toning. And what we wanna do here is leave the highlights as they are. But the shadows, we want to make a slight brown. So we pull them over to a hue of around 13 and a saturation of 2. So that's, sorry, a little more saturation, maybe 5. So we're 17.5. And that's good here. And now the balance, we boost the balance up to the highlights to get the effect out a little more uh, to about plus plus 18 is perfect. And then we're done here. We're not gonna do anything to the detail. So that's the look. Here's a before and after. And as you see, the edit is not too much. It's not over exaggerated, but we get that really high quality film look with that low contrast, low saturation, and those poppy darks. I think we, we really nailed this one. It looks really good. Once again, if you need more of these film looks, either it be black and white film look, high quality film looks, or also colored film looks. Check out my presets that I made for you guys. Link is under the video. Also, I made nice frames to frame around your picture. Those analog film frames, Kodak frames. Uh, you can also find them on my website, check it out. And make sure to subscribe to my channel to not miss out on any of my following videos. And make sure to talk to me on Instagram. My name is at Steven Womack. Always happy to hear from you. Let me know what else I can do for you in the comments or on Instagram. I'm always up for conversation. See you next time. Peace.